Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to access the DSM-5 through the Buxton Library. To get to the Buxton Library, you can go to paradisevalley.edu forward slash library, Google search Buxton Library, or on the Paradise Valley homepage, you can select library at the bottom of the page. In the menu, click databases. This will bring you to the Databases main menu. Here you can find many databases for everything from arts to education, as well as what we're looking for, the DSM-5. You'll want to click on the letter D to filter and scroll all the way down to the bottom to select DSM-5. You can access the DSM library on and off campus. You will need to log in using your MEID and password and complete Duo authentication if it's enabled on your account. Once you've successfully logged in, you will find yourself in the DSM library. You have been provided free access to the DSM-5 and the DSM library through the Buxton Library subscription to Psychiatry Online. This subscription allows you to have access to news, journals, books, and the DSM library, among many other things. It's worth taking a peek around the website. It might even help you with some of your research articles. Notice, underneath the title of the text, you will find a DOI link. This will be very important when it comes time to cite this text in any of your research papers. To access the text, click the gray Open button. You may need to wait a few moments for the text to load. And here you have the DSM-5. You can use the menu to search through the outline or the table of contents to find the exact thing you're looking for, such as bipolar and related disorders. Then you can read through the text. You even have the option of downloading a section. The DSM-5 also has text revisions, and you can access those. To find the text revisions, go back to the Psychiatry Online website with the DSM library. This can usually be accomplished by closing a tab. Next, look for DSM-5-TR on the DSM library ribbon. Here, you'll find the entire text revision, so if there have been any updates, you'll find them here. Under Diagnostic Criteria and Codes, you can click on your disorder, for example, bipolar and related disorders. Here, you will see the full text with revisions. You'll also see a DOI link that will give you information that will be helpful with your citations. Speaking of citations, have you ever heard of the APA in minutes text. This text, written by faculty and staff here at Paradise Valley Community College, will help set you up for success and walk you step by step through all of your citation questions this semester. You can access this text on the Maricopa Open Digital Press or ask a librarian and they'll be happy to show it to you. To cite the DSM-5, you're going to use the following basic format in your reference list. Now, don't forget those in-text citations. Those will look like this. If you're directly quoting, don't forget to include a page number. I hope this video has been a help to you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your faculty or to a librarian. They're always happy to help you.